What if, in your country, the government controlled what you could see? If the government decided what you could say and what you could do. In our country, people are as a prisoner. All of us have been accustomed to forced labor. If they left you in poverty and alone. Burma's military regime really wants to be able to abuse the Burmese people behind closed doors. They don't want people around the world to know what's going on inside Burma. a general strike and a feeling in the nation that democratic freedom could be round the corner. But the military moved in and the pro-democracy demonstrations were crushed. I had a lot of news that uh, they had brought a lot of dead bodies and some of the people were even not dead yet and they were cremated. But the hope that democracy might still be established has lived on, embodied in the person of Aung San Suu Kyi. Everybody who is involved in the democracy movement knows that he or she is in danger of imprisonment at any time. The car carrying Aung San Suu Kyi and her entourage is attacked by a mob. What Aung San Suu Kyi is doing in Burma is not for the faint of heart. The world is dazzled by her courage, her commitment to freedom, and her love. The people of Burma. To Aung San Suu Kyi. If we don't have the support of the Burmese people, why is it necessary to put our people in jail? Why don't they just let them out? It's precisely these people who are oppressing us and violating human rights in Burma. She has seen her supporters beaten, tortured, and killed. Yet she has never responded to hatred and violence in kind. I don't like to think of it as defiance. I like to think of it as courage. The best way to make people aware how important courage is is to make them understand that one person can make a huge difference. That's Aung San Suu Kyi. Unless you can live free from fear, you cannot live a dignified human life. It's not possible.